So Troy Malcolmson, uh, construction methodology specialist in the major projects division. So the role is to try and implement new innovative construction methods um, to look at efficiencies, looking at world's best practice and trying to implement that within PowerLink. Yes, yeah, so I suppose the initial uh, introductions all being sort of uh, presentations, slide packs, those types of things uh, from a concept perspective could see the potential um, of, of how it could uh, apply uh, on, on our network. Um, but yeah, definitely getting out of here over the last couple of days and seeing it uh, fly out on, on our structures. Um, it, was, uh, yeah, it, was, it was pleasing to see that I had assumptions made um, of, of how it could work, um, even sort of, I suppose, exceeded those expectations. And, and probably even then, uh, we've probably looked at different ways we could uh, adopt it um, and, and adapt it to, to our towers going forward. So. We've had some pretty decent gusts um, cropping up, but yeah, the, the drones have been more than more than able to handle um, probably some very what would be typically unfavourable sort of conditions and, and take it in their stride. Even then, um, probably the battery percentages are still quite impressive, even based on um, based on those conditions as well. The main driver to us, uh, even exploring this initially, was the safety factor. So effectively, the comparison between a helicopter and, and the TX and drone combination is that we don't have um, anyone sort of in the line of fire. Uh, the, the, the greater benefit going forward is probably scheduled compression, um, whereby we can effectively pre-string um, prior to the, the, the contractors coming through um, for the conductor runouts. So not needing to have them, uh, having lines crews sitting there waiting uh, for the, for the pre-stringing activities to commence. They're effectively coming up to a site that is ready to go, hit the ground running from, from, from the first day. And yeah, look, I, I see any transmission or distribution entity probably benefiting from, yeah, the, the usability, the, the, the ability to potentially self-perform as well, it's there. Um, so that's something that as a, as a business we potentially want to explore, um, seeing the ability for our teams to actually skill up in the unit um, and be able to sort of use the trailer for multiple purposes, both not just greenfield construction, but also maintenance operational um, type tasks, uh, potentially disaster recovery, those types of things, quick response. Um, and also, I mean, the ability, seeing what it can do in wind conditions, um, yeah, it, it may be a great in a storm recovery kind of scenario as well.